Alleluia. 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 Welcome to Unity Church of Chatsworth Online Ministries. A kindergarten teacher was observing her class as the children drew pictures. The teacher would occasionally walk around and see each child's artwork. As she approached one little girl who was working diligently, she asked, what are you drawing? And the little girl replied, I am drawing God. But sweetie, the teacher said, no one knows what God looks like. The little girl continued writing and, and drawing, and she quickly said to her teacher, but they will in a few seconds when I'm finished. Good morning, and welcome to Unity Church of Chatsworth's online service. The Unity Daily Word we focus on today comes to us from November 26, 1977, and the word is relationships. Our affirmation, all my relationships are productive of good as I allow the Christ love to grow in me. If we are to have a productive garden, we must remove the weeds that sprout up among our flowers and vegetables. For these weeds will drain the soil of its moisture and also rob our plants of important nutrients. In the garden of our mind, we must remove weed thoughts, thoughts of unforgiveness, resentment, or anger toward another person. In order for our relationships to show forth harmony and for our life to show forth productivity, such weed thoughts must be removed. They drain our peace and serenity and rob us of happiness and joy in living. We have the strength to accomplish this task through the power of the Christ within us. The Christ presence is a loving one and imparts love to us and through us. As we deny power and place to any weed thoughts that sprout up, we clear the way for the Christ love to grow. And this love is always productive good. Our scripture with this daily word comes from Matthew chapter 13, verse 30. Gather the weeds first, but gather the wheat into my barn. Our word for today is relationships. And our affirmation, all my relationships are productive of good as I allow the Christ love to grow in me. And so it is. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed it be thy name. Till kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debt, as we also forgive our debtors. And leave us not into temptation, but deliver us from error, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory for ever. Amen.
May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord. Paraphrasing from the New Testament, book of Matthews, chapter 13, from the New International Version. Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat, and went away. When the wheat sprouted and formed heads, then the weeds also appeared. The owner's servants came to him and said, Sir, didn't you sow good seed in your field? Where then did the wheats come from? And then he replied, An enemy did this. From the Revealing Word by Charles Fillmore, co-founder of Unity. The Metaphysical Meaning of Error. Error. That which is untrue. Error thoughts represent beliefs in thoughts and beliefs not of God. Error thoughts have no foundation in truth. They originate in the intellect. They are eliminated by one's denying their reality and power and affirming the truth of being. From the author James Allen. Mind is the master power that molds and makes. And we are mind, and evermore we take the tools of thought and shaping what we will, bring forth a thousand joys or a thousand ills. He thinks in secret, and it comes to pass. Environment is but his looking glass. Good morning. Good morning, and God bless you. Good morning, and God bless you, Michelle. God bless you, Reverend John. We have a wonderful, I believe, Sunday morning lesson. Uh, and by the way, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, yes. To you and you and you and to all mothers everywhere. The Divine Feminine is our, uh, our opportunity to celebrate this day with the... It's a good creative topic, I believe, Michelle, and title, Highest Good Power. Mm. And certainly, I am miracle-minded. Absolutely. Today and every day. Today and every day. Our theme for the month, Michelle? Our power for the month is divine power. Our disciple is Philip. The color is purple. And the part of the body is the root of the tongue. All right. And the color? It's purple. It is purple. <laughs> it is purple. We're getting all of these relationships uh, correct in terms of colors and the powers and those who represent. We're talking about relationships today, Michelle. Yes, yes we uh, are. We're talking about Mother's Day and having healthy relationship is a highest good yes. selection. We have uh, a guest today. We have the, our plant which has been with us for the full month so far. And we also have some items that we're going to talk about uh, We on our uh, podcast and on our YouTube videos. We have had some good success, Michelle, with our juicing and smoothies. our smoothies. Yes. So we have two new relationship uh, items today. We have bananas. These happen to be ripe bananas. Yes, they are. And we also have a ginger root today. I'm going to make sure everyone sees that today. <laughs> We're going to see it later when we videotape our smoothie shorts. 
as, so we have these relationships, and as, that's. I was going to. I'm sorry, I keep interrupting, but yeah. as we talk about new possibilities, we are talking about our spiritual new possibilities. All right. Going for our divine power in the month, and we're also taking a look at some healthier ways of 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 maintaining our body. So we've been working on that a little bit, kind of looking back and having to our fun history with it. and having fun with and it. And having fun. With looking it. back to our history of the Fillmores, who were very mired in healthy eating. Good, good, good. We began today's lesson with our prayer from Unity Village mm. from Reverend Marcus Williams. Have thine own way in me, O Lord. Have thine own way in me. Have thine own way in my thoughts and in my feelings. Have thine own way in my words today, Michelle. Have thy known way in my actions and in my behaviors. This day, have thy known way in me. And we say, and so it is. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes, Michelle, we're talking about that. We're, the season of planting mm -hmm. and of seeding yes. has been a uh, recurring topic. Uh, probably for as long as creation has, <laughs> has existed, we've been here. The idea of uh, planting good seed and the mm -hmm. right seeds and uh do you know michelle my my mom really and she had a garden yes i can always remember her having a garden and we had a garden at one time yes and we had we had a different way of taking care of our weeds that popped up in our garden all right we would we would cultivate the land to plant the bar garden and then we would lay down a piece of black plastic <laughs> that would keep the weeds at bay and we would put the seeds in um, a small hole of its own, and then they would grow up through that. The purpose, it was to keep the weeds from pulling the moisture and the nutrients away. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So on this Mother's Day, we're remembering yes. that our mothers had gardens. Yes. And we have that quote, Michelle, that we started with today's lesson with, and that was from James Allen, mm -hmm. all about a thousand joys or a thousand ills. And it all depends on what we are planting. Absolutely. Or yes. what other other ways uh, that those other seeds kind of happen into our garden and how we weed those out okay and earlier i had mentioned before the lesson began that i recall in our garden there was a eggplant that took over the garden <laughs> and you reminded me that it wasn't an eggplant it was the zucchini it was the zucchini, zucchini. <laughs> Okay, you have to be careful yeah, about we, those zucchinis. First of all, you have to be careful about how many zucchini plants you put in because we had a plethora of zucchini, which took over the entire garden. It did not choke anything else out because, like I said, we had it kind of sectioned off, but it did spread and spread, and yes. Now, again, we're not talking about seeds and plants only today. Of course. The metaphysical idea is what thoughts mm -hmm. are we planting or what thoughts are we focusing on? Mm -hmm. Are we focusing on good, yes. healthy thoughts? Are we focusing on other thoughts that might be, mm, let's just say, uh, not healthy ones? Uh, how about uh, resentment? Mm. How about anger? Anger mm -hmm. and uh, those kinds of thoughts that take us away simply from our highest good. Yes. So quite a bit of background there. We, again, we want to set the scene for our presentation today we're also we always talk about affirmations yes and it's time for our affirmations yes. <laughs> I, I i saw you moving your yeah we, hands were, kind of, we were kind of moving position. into the lesson before we got there okay yes and so we uh, we think about and pray our affirmation for today's lesson thank you michelle mm -hmm. I, I have, have the, the power to choose my highest good, good. Mm, yes Mm, how does that feel? And how does that taste? How does that uh, that essence of that affirmation feel? I'm I'm going to say, Michelle, I feel it in my chest, mm, my okay. upper uh, chest cavity. And again, we say and pray our affirmation for today's lesson. I, I have, have the, the power, power to, to choose, choose my, my highest good. good. Mm. And yes, we say thank you, God. 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 And again, Michelle, I'm glad we have some clarity today <laughs> about where we're going. Yes. And sometimes we're very metaphysical at the beginning, and mm -hmm. I'm not so sure that we're 
we're touching all of the points here and we can we can take the time and do that and we'll work our way through it as we always do okay all right and again uh, uh, just a, just a, another scripture we're, uh, or emphasis on affirmations the other side of the flip side of that are called denials in mm-hmm. unity in unity and so we're going to talk about which thoughts we can keep and which thoughts that we we want to say we are denying or mm-hmm. That we want to release. Yes, yes. That we want to release. Mm-hmm. And so, again, affirmations and denials, one of those principles, those unity principles. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I say it's principle number three. And <laughs> okay. sometimes I say it's principle number four. Well. All depends on who our teacher or teachers were. All right. This season and every season, we have those uh, ideas. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I call them design, uh, divine ideas or power ideas. Sometimes seeds are represented, in fact, by the seed itself. And sometimes we can go to the uh, to the nursery mm-hmm. and we can buy seed packets. We can buy seed packets. And then sometimes uh, I know my teacher, Reverend Roof, used to paint pictures of fish. Ah. The fish itself. You've, and you've seen that on license plates or on the back of cars. The, the Christian symbol. The Christian symbol mm-hmm. for the fish, the logo. That's a symbol for an idea. So which uh, on... Our life's journey, when you think of planting, do you remember mom's garden? Yes. Do you smile when you <laughs> think of the, those seeds that you put in the ground yourself? You know, I remember, I remember, I know we're getting off, I'm getting off a little bit, but I remember my mother had a small garden in the backyard and mm-hmm. she grew corn. She grew actual corn in the backyard along with tomatoes and zucchini and other things but I was always amazed by the fact that we planted actually Mm -hmm. a seed of corn a corn seed a little kernel of corn and then a stalk and then suddenly there yes and then there was a stalk three weeks yes they grew up so two feet four feet and then maybe even six feet so to me that has a meaning for when we plant our seeds they have the the possibility of growth and yes and certainly that is and as we talked about the zucchini they can take over <laughs> if, if you also aren't paying attention somebody's not paying attention to and them. in these unprecedented times yes as i become still and calm for a mm. moment what seeds are we planting are we are we looking at what our neighbor is doing mm. and what seeds they're planting and maybe not paying attention i'm going to say to what seeds we have planted and our nurturing also. Well, again, that, that revealing word, thank you, Michelle. You mm-hmm. were talking about those error uh, thoughts. Yes. And the very idea that error thoughts happen. Mm-hmm. We have our quality or our highest good thoughts. And we have growth. And in the Bible story, we have Jesus telling that that's the parable. Actually, the parable of the sower and in the, the NIV, it actually said the parable of the weeds. Yes. So what's going on with the, that story and parable is, is uh, again, uh, sometimes easily understood as a, as a teaching lesson and not necessarily farmers. Right. Talking about farmers. Right. Okay. And, and finally, uh, are you open to the idea that during this time, you can actually use that word power, mm-hmm. Michelle. Mm-hmm. I think it's a miracle that, again, starting with that little seed of corn, then suddenly by the end of summer or at harvest time, yes. you reap what you sow. You've mm-hmm. heard that. You reap what you sow. You can have this this giant uh, <laughs> stalk this, uh, and, and ears of corn, more multiple ears of corn, starting from that little seed yes okay what a wonderful uh, beginning to today's lesson mm-hmm. and now we will move into our three points for today thank you our three points for today point number one every planting season unprecedented times require us to consider new seeds perhaps mm-hmm. and beyond yes uh, point number two, a practical application, Silicon Valley Business Research and Development Board. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, an, appli- an application, application. <laughs> a practical application. I'll get my words out. Thank you very much. And point number three, are you open to planting seeds of power? Yes. Yes. Thank you, Michelle. Thank mm-hmm. you, Michelle. 
Point number one, every planting season. Now, again, we want to talk about relationships. We want to talk about happy Mother's Day. And for those <laughs> of us who had a wonderful and happy childhood, yeah. talking about Mother's Day or Father's Day, for that matter, brings a smile to mm -hmm. our face. And I'm saying that to our face as I sit up and have a question mark. From time to time, I meet uh, this one, this person or that person, and maybe they didn't have a happy uh, childhood, mm -hmm. or maybe they had an estranged uh, relationship, or their mother wasn't there. Mm -hmm. So we want to be real today. We want to talk about these relationships and maybe even Michelle mending relationships mm -hmm. as a pastoral nurse. And we want to have compassion as we talk about, you know, as we do often with holidays of, of any kind, Christmas or Mother's Day or Father's Day, we want to have compassion for those who don't have happy thoughts and make a reminder to each individual that yes. it is our individual possibility to grow beyond whatever was not as warm and cozy and comfortable for us. Sometimes that takes just, you know, talking to ourselves and, and, and forming new relationships, forming new family patterns, if that's, if that's important. Sometimes it requires uh, some uh, counseling or therapy to help us move through whatever we need to move through. So we want to have some compassion for that as well. And also uh, this week we were uh, invited to attend a, what was it called? Spiritual Direction. Yes. Uh, all day retreat or workshop. And it was, uh, it was uh, right here in the Southwest region, in California and Nevada and the Phoenix area, Arizona. And so we were invited to take a look at perhaps healing. Uh, I had mentioned, for example, during the workshop that Silent Unity, the number one request was for healing and more often than not physical healing. Mm-hmm. And someone who was attending, I believe she was from Phoenix, more or less reminded me also that sometimes we need to do what she called relationship healing. Yes. And so what a great opportunity for me to hear that and to really kind of feel that also. And uh, she used the word empathy uh, about sometimes when we're not connected with uh that this person or that person, or we're in a place where we're not of a uh, in a place where we can forgive. Mm -hmm. And I want to be specific: our mothers or that creative side that is feminine. Yes. And so uh, again, I uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, the dear one in the Phoenix area who reminded me that sometimes uh, healing is about relationships. Okay. Also. Mm -hmm. All right. Point number two. Fascinating, Michelle. Fascinating. Okay. You know, there are times when I, I, I'm very interested in science and technology. Mm -hmm. Sure. I'm very much interested in what's going on in Silicon Valley. That's that area where all of the computers and they're talking mm -hmm. about artificial intelligence right now and such these kinds of things. And as a matter of fact, we took the Amtrak train <laughs> to Silicon Valley and we visited <clears throat> Apple Computer. And I noticed another... Silicon Valley Company, which I believe was uh, owned by uh, Japanese, okay. or they could have been uh, Korean for that matter, but for the most part, it was a, uh, a wonderful presentation about research and development mm. for the company. And, you know, I heard the following comment or statement, we need to plan Mm. Not just for ourselves or for our children. Mm. We need to plan for ourselves, our children, and our children's children. Now, I heard that, Michelle, as a divine idea. Yes. I'm going to say it again. I heard that as a seed taught, uh, a thought for the future. The very idea that a board of directors with the power of the board of directors was actually saying we need to think in terms of the future. Yes. Now, what do you think of that kind of thing? Well, first of all, I <laughs> I embrace that thought. I mean, okay. we've been we've talked about that 
not just us, but that is not in our in our uh, uh, presentations. But that is a topic that many people talk about. That we have done many things to the earth over the years. We to have the earth. to the earth mm -hmm. over the years, and uh, people who consider themselves environmentalists tell us that it is important that we take a look at how we're living our lives, how we're choosing to dispose of things, how Treat we're the choosing, yes, how we're choosing to our, our vehicles, uh, all of this, how we're using uh, utilities. We need to take a look at how we're living our lives so that we can plan for the remainder of the life of our, of our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, so that we honor the earth so that we continue to live in 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 relationship oh, with good, the good earth word, good yes. word relationship with the earth and then. so our our our, uh, our our children and those who come after us will continue to have that relationship good good michelle i heard you combining point number one and point number two <laughs> okay good job good okay. job point number three and we are being consistent point number three are you open to planting seeds of power? Yes. Take a deep breath. Again, I'm going to say in our unprecedented times, it appears that uh, we have a social and political environment where we don't agree. Mm -hmm. Michelle, that uh, this group wants the country to go in one direction and not just that, but it's happening in our spiritual or religious communities also it's happening mm -hmm. in our churches that some churches are deciding to go in one direction and other members of the various churches are deciding to go in another direction mm -hmm. michelle and so from a place of are you open do these thoughts have power yes michelle and we need to really be mindful we need to i'm going to use that word we've used it before discern what's in our highest good. Yes. And I'm going to say that that's a collective thought. It's uh, the thought is, it is said, Charles Fillmore said, our thinking and feeling should agree. Mm -hmm. And in fact, some Bible scriptures say, touch and agree. Yes. Touch and agree. And, and again, uh, Charles Fillmore's idea was that men sometimes represent thoughts and women sometimes represent feelings well the, the male energy and the female energy i want to make that clarification because Thank we are you, we are all we are all part of both energies we all have feminine energy and masculine energy and yes he made that distinction yes 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 and again i'm smiling and i want to say again happy mother's day <laughs> to you and you and you and the, the, to that memory michelle mm -hmm. of, of my mother in the garden and your mother in the garden and when, we, and when we talk about planting the seeds and 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 taking a look at where we are from a perspective of our uh, divine power for uh, and being open to that divine power, how are we? As you mentioned, where there's some division going on in, yes. in different parts of our society, but what is it that I individually can do as can far do. as far as yes, planting that seed mm -hmm. to make sure that. I am resonating with the divine power. I am resonating with planting the seeds mm -hmm. that are going to move forward, in not only in my life, but in future lives. And how open am I to the ideas of planting seeds of good and not seeds of error or weeds, as we used as the example? Thank you, Michelle. Mm -hmm. And again, we say uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for your time and being with us today and your time of visiting, and I actually I heard uh, joining us for this lesson today. Yes. It is our prayer that it has been a blessing for you and you and you, and I know that I feel blessed by it. I'm feeling kind of used to say jazzed <laughs> uh, by by being on camera and on YouTube and etc. And so we uh, we pray that you have um, enjoyed or have been listening and inspired by today's lesson. Hmm. Our summary for today. Yes. Our point number one, every planting season, and we talked about relationships, first of all, uh, planting thoughts and seeing the results of those thoughts. And we used, we talked about the scripture earlier um, when the, 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 the scripture of the sower. The sower. And the scripture of the wheat, which is the same scripture. Basically, mm -hmm. when we have error thoughts, when we see that, um, are we able to move those thoughts? Are we able to pull out the weeds, basically? 
Yes. Our point number two, we used a practical application of the Sil Silicon, Silicon Valley, Valley Business Research and Development Group mm -hmm. who are looking for new possibilities. We talk about new possibilities. They are looking not only for planting the seeds now, but planting the seeds in the future and uh, for future generations and uh, as we talked about, our, our, our collective relationship with the earth. And then in point number three, three. We, we talked about being mindful. We, we've, we've seen you know, we, divisiveness within our society, within our religions, within different areas of our society, within different areas of our lives. There may even be divisiveness in some families. We, mm -hmm. you know, but, but, but are we open? Are we open to planting seeds of divine power, of being mindful? and using our discernment of planting seeds for our highest good. What thoughts are we putting our energy into? And we're extending our ideas on our little shorts, our YouTube videos, as we're talking about <laughs> this week, the idea of detoxing in terms of our bodies. So our, again, our guests today, our special <laughs> guests are our bananas. These are ripened bananas, Michelle, and also this 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 root which is called a ginger root and so we invite you to uh, enjoy our opportunities to do uh, little short videos michelle they're 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 less than uh, one, one minute, minute. Mm -hmm. and many of them are 30 seconds long <laughs> and so this is our again our effort to extend that idea that seed idea of what we can do and what we can keep and what we can release. Yes. And now we move into our time of closing, Michelle, as we hold our praying hands together, as we say and pray our affirmation for today's lesson. I have the power to choose my highest good. From the tips of our toes to the tops of our head, from the top of our head to the tips of our toes, we feel that energy, that resonating joy and we move into a place of gratitude and thankfulness as we again close with our affirmation for today's lesson i, I have, have the, the power, power to, to choose my highest good. good and we say thank you god thank you god thank you god thank you god Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. The prayer for protection. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is and all is well. And so it is. Amen. Our offertory blessing today, together. Divine love, through me, blesses and multiplies all that I have, all that I give, all that I receive. I praise give thanks, and am glad. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen.
The Daily Word is reproduced with permission of Unity, publisher of The Daily Word. Website, dailyword.com.